Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Happy Friday. I was doing a little bit of research today and I came across a stock that it just really seems super underpriced. It is one that I own a small amount of in my IRA and recently sold some cash secured puts on. And I thought I'd share this trade idea with you from an options perspective. So the stock is Arch Resources, symbol A-R-C-H, specifically the Class A stock, which is, as I understand it, about identical to Class B, but Class A trades publicly. And here's a chart, a one-year chart of Arch. And as you can see, uh, we've been kind of hanging around this 110 level, um, treading this line of support since last expiration for about almost a full month. Um, and today it dipped down even a little bit below and broke support, which normally I would say, Hey, you know, we could get some follow through. I would stay away from this or play momentum and maybe take a negative Delta play, but it's a pretty interesting stock because there's a fair amount supporting it. Now, uh, truth be told, there's a little bit of a uh, sort of, uh, Let's call it analysis volatility here because it's a little bit hard to analyze. A big part of this stock is the dividend yield. Now, if you look up what the dividend yield is on a lot of sources, it's going to say it's this really small dividend yield, like less than 1%, which is technically true because the fixed dividend is $0.25 cents a quarter. But they also have a variable dividend. They pay out 50% of the free cash flow that they earn. And um, that has some quarters been pretty hefty. And it's well, 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 well above the 1% that, um, that it appears to be in. Now, if we go here to the Analyze tab, go to Fundamentals, and we look at Arch, we can see the... Um, the dividends per share, it shows a dollar, but again, that doesn't show the variable dividend, which you probably noticed that on the chart here. This is 245, this is 311, 1075, six bucks a share, right? So back to this tab. Now, what's really interesting here is the price to earnings ratio, which is like 1.8 per, uh, well, 1.8. That's a pretty darn low P.E. ratio, if you ask me, on a company that, you know, makes money. They're, made, they're making, you know, good earnings per share, um, but, you know, the, the price-to-earnings ratio is super, super low. There's a chance to get pretty good dividends on this. So what I did is I simply, and um, it's not in here in here because it's in my IRA, so it's not going to show up in here. But what I did is I sold some of the July 21st 110 puts, uh, and I did this a couple of days ago. And you might look at this and say, oh, Dan, this is crazy. Look, um, the offer is $1.20 above the bid. It's like almost 50% of the bid price. These markets are way too wide to trade. And you're right, they're way too wide to trade. But to me, I'm not looking at this as a trade. I'm looking at this as an investment. And if I get assigned at the 110 level, I'm going to be pretty happy about that and I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to collect the dividends and I'm going to go and I'm going to write some covered calls and uh, at a higher strike than what I bought it for and hey I think this is a good play I figured I'd share that with you on uh, Friday afternoon you can take a look at it this Saturday tell me what you think I'm always interested in your comments you can email me about it if you'd like or better yet hit me up in the MTM community chat room have a great rest of your weekend. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.